in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yermet, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Friday, the 12th of July, 2024. 14th week in ordinary time and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Josephine Tejan Keller, who celebrated her birthday yesterday from Freetown, Sierra Leone, text for us the first reading. Dolly Valens Mushayavanu from Arare, Zimbabwe, Celebrating his birthday today, text for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Richard Umo, celebrating his birthday today from Jos Diocese in Nigeria. Let us pray. O oh God, who in the abasement of your son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. We will say no more our God to the work of our hands. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea, Hosea chapter 14, verses 1 to 9. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with you words, I return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity. Accept that which is good, and we render the fruit of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride upon horses. I will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their faithlessness. I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be as the dew to Israel. He shall blossom as the lily. He shall strike root as the poplar. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his flagians like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. They shall flourish as a garden. They shall blossom as the vine. Their flagians shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim. What have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. For me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is the signing, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them. But transgressors stumbled in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 51, 3 to 4, 8 to 9, 12 to 13, 14 and 17. Response is taken from Psalm 51, 17b. And the response is, my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My, My mouth, mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash me completely from my iniquity. And cleanse me from my sin. Response. My, My mouth, mouth shall, shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. Yes, you delight in sincerity of heart. 
In secret you teach me wisdom, cleanse me with high soap, and I shall be pure. Wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. My, My mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Create a pure heart for me, O oh God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. My, My mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a willing spirit. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My, my mouth, mouth shall proclaim, proclaim your, your praise. praise. Gospel exclamation. John 16, 13a, 1426d. Hallelujah. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents, and innocent as doves. Beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and flog you in the synagogue. And you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to be a testimony before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you up, do not be anxious about how you are to speak or what you are to see, for what you are to see will be given to you in that hour. But it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will deliver up brother to death and their father his child, and children will rise against parents and have them put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake, but he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to the next. For truly I said to you, you will not have gone through all the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have come to the end of uh, the book of Prophet Hosea, and with this we conclude the minor prophetic works for now, for this second part of Ordinary Time. And as we come to the end of the minor prophet, because tomorrow, we are starting the major prophets, beginning with Isaiah, the call of Isaiah. Now we are focusing on the message of Hosea, the theme of God's faithfulness and mercy towards his people, despite their unfaithfulness, is highlighted here. Just as Hosea remained committed to his unfaithful wife, Goma, Symbolizing God's enduring love for his wayward people, so too does God continue to reach out to Israel, to his own people with open arms. Remember you are part of that Israel, and he is ready to forgive and restore you if you would only repent. The word of God for today wants to tell us that repentance is not just about empty words or rituals. It requires a sincere heart transformation and a willingness to forsake sinful ways. As Hosea declares in chapter 14 verse 2, Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, accept that which is good, and we will render the fruit of our lips. This indicates that verbal confession must be accompanied by genuine sorrow for sin and a determination to live in obedience to God's commands. It's not enough to just confess with our lips, 
but let our lips bear fruit by turning away from the works of the hands by relying on our own power and learning to rely on the power of God. Many of us have touched a lot of things. We have relied too much on human power. We have gone to witch doctors to look for solutions to our lives. The Sangomas have been our workplaces where we think we are going to get something for our lives. Forgetting the God who created us, who wants us to be renewed in our lives. The gospel passage of today tells us about the sending of the 12 apostles by Jesus and the instructions that he gives them. And we are going to listen to these instructions for a couple of days. He tells them, behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. He's not asking us to become serpents. He's not asking us to be dubious. No, understand this. The snake was a symbol of wisdom in the Bible. The snake did not mean what it means today in our ordinary language when we tell somebody, you are a snake. When we are saying you are a snake, we are saying your ways are not straight because a snake doesn't move straight. It meanders in its path. You won't know which direction it's trying to go. But the Lord is not asking us to imitate that aspect of the snake. He's asking us to imitate the aspect of a snake as we would imitate the aspect of a kalulu, of a rabbit in our folktales. A rabbit is known as a clever animal who knows how to escape danger. That's what it means. You know in the world there are wolves. So don't expose yourself to danger. You know when you are on social media, you are going to find scammers. Be wise. Somebody sends you a message and says, listen, we are having a meeting. I am father so and so. So I'm sending you a code. Please, when you see that code, reread that code for me. And I know there are many people who are not going to listen to this word. And they are going to write to me and say, Father, somebody scammed me and said, uh, uh, you just send that code because Father Eustace Yame sent me so that you attend the meeting. And you are foolish enough to listen to them because you don't follow even most of these devotions. And you are part of the daily bread ministry. And you are saying that uh, you don't know what is happening in the world out there. The scammers take advantage of your ignorance. And so you are going to lose your account. And your account is going to be used for the promotion of bitcoins and all the other stuff there. This is what has been happening. The Lord is saying, be wise like serpents. Because serpents are quick to knowing things in the Midrash stories, so we are told. Now you are supposed to be a serpent, learning how to understand the way social media works, so that you can use that for evangelization, not to deceive others. You are supposed to be a lamb. You are supposed to be innocent. Not shrewd. The Lord is not asking us to be shrewd. He's asking us to be innocent. And he wants us to understand that we are going to face a lot of issues in our Christian life. We are going to face persecutions. It won't go too well for us. But one thing is the realization of the fact that God is with us and he will see us through. He is only asking us for endurance. But he who endures to the end will be saved. Let us stand strong with faith in our lives up to our last breath so that we may say with St. Paul, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the rest. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, 
world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Friday to you. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God.